Well, good morning, good morning, good morning, everyone. Welcome to our Remnant Worship Texas morning prayer. I'm so glad you're joining me this morning for our morning prayer. Before we get started, I do want to remind you, if you haven't had an opportunity um, to listen to the message that we that I had from last week at our live service, please go back and listen to that. We talked about uh, God delivering us from fear so that we can walk into the promises that God has for us. I do also want to make a couple quick announcements. We won't have our prayer next um, week. That's uh, due Thursday, July the 4th due to the holiday, but we'll be back on Thursday, July the 11th at 10.30 a.m. Central Standard Time. And then I do want to remind you as well, don't forget, mark your calendars for the third Thursday in July. That's July the 18th. We'll have our live service right here on this YouTube channel. And so I do want to... um, I don't think I have anything specific, but as we end this month of June, I want to encourage you in your faith. I want to encourage you to keep your hope alive and to keep your faith alive and to believe that everything that God has promised you is coming to pass. The Bible says in 2 Peter chapter 3, the beginning in verse 9, it says, The Lord is not slow in keeping his promise. He's not slow in keeping his promise, but he's he's being patient with us. And I'm telling you, I believe with all of my heart that the things that God has promised us are coming, but it's all according to his will. And we have to re- we have to get everything out of the way that's hindering us and from moving forward and allow the Lord to lead you and allow the Lord to guide you to and I want to encourage you in your faith as you're waiting for that promise as you're waiting for the Lord to do the things that he's promised you don't give up don't give up hope because I'm telling you in in a matter of time the Lord is going to do it and there's a scripture that I read often that I quote often in Amos and I want to read that this morning as well to just to encourage your heart this morning the bible says in amos chapter 3 or chapter 9 verse starting at verse 13 yes indeed it won't be long now god's decree things are going to happen so fast your head will swim one thing fast on the heels of the other you won't be able to keep up and everywhere you look everything will be happening at once and everywhere you look blessings blessings are coming if you just hold fast to the promises of God and stay in hope and 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 stay in his love and believe that everything he promised you is coming to pass so father we bless you this morning and we give you praise we give your name honor and we give your name glory father we praise you because you are wonderful you are magnificent and mighty you are holy you are omnipotent you are our father and you care for us and you love us and you're here for us father we thank you that you have promised that you would never leave us or forsake us you would never abandon us you would never leave us alone and so father we thank you this morning for your goodness we thank you that you are a good good father we thank you that you care for us we thank you that you are here for us God we thank you father that everything that you've promised us is coming to pass father that we would stay in hope and we would stay in faith and and we would believe you father father that we would find ourselves in your love God that we would find ourselves God surrounded by your love and surrounded by your grace and surrounded by your mercy and surrounded by your favor father we thank Thank you that you are good and you are worthy to be praised father we pray in the name of Jesus father that we would begin to open our mouth and decree and declare your word over our life and see our life transformed God by your power father father we thank you that you said the words that you speak they are spirit and they are life and we declare as we open our mouth and declare your word spirit and life is flowing from our mouths father we declare in the name of jesus god that you are coming in and you're coming in like a rush and mighty wind father that you are overwhelming our hearts with your goodness that you're overwhelming our hearts with your mercy that you're 
overwhelming our hearts with your love, that you're overwhelming our hearts with your kindness and your grace. Father, we thank you that you are pouring upon us even now. You're pouring upon us now your love and your joy and your peace and your mercy and your grace. You're pouring upon us healing and miracles and signs and wonders. You're delivering us from fear. You're delivering us, God, from the things that have held us back. Father, we thank you, God, that we fix our eyes on Jesus, the author and perfecter of our faith, who for the joy set before him endured the cross and scorned his shame, and he's seated at the right hand, Lord, making intercession for us. We thank you that, Jesus, you are our intercessor, that you intercede on our behalf, and we thank you, Father. We thank you, Jesus, that as you are interceding for us, Jesus, that breakthrough is coming, that miracles are happening, God. Father, we thank you, God, that you're even touching our hearts, God. Father, you know the situations that you're with, that we're facing. Lord, you know, God, even, uh, the, even there's some with broken hearts, Father. We thank you, God, that you will, you will mend our hearts, Father. Father, we thank you, God. We ask you, Holy Spirit, to come. Come upon us now and set us free. Let there be a, a balm of healing and peace to come upon us now in the name of Jesus. Comfort our hearts, Father, and be with us, Jesus. Father, we declare in the name of Jesus that you would move by your Spirit. Father, we thank you even now that the windows of heaven are being opened unto us. And Father, that you're pouring out your spirit, that you're pouring out a fresh wind of the Holy Spirit right now in the name of Jesus. That a fresh wind of the Holy Ghost is coming upon us, that the rain from heaven is, uh, is coming upon us now. Father, we thank you that you are cleaning us, God, from the inside out. That you're making us pure and holy. Father, we thank you, God, that anything that has held us back, that fear and an intimidation is gone from our life now in the name of Jesus. So we declare in the name of Jesus that you are coming in upon us, God. Father, come in upon us like a rush and mighty wind. Overtake us. Overwhelm us in your goodness. Overwhelm us in your love. Overwhelm us in your kindness. Father, we want you today. Fill us up, God, till our cup overflows. Fill us up, Jesus, till our cup overflows. Fill us up, God, till our cup overflows. We declare, Father, more of you and less of us. Father, we pray even that you would give us a sensitivity to your spirit father that we would that even lord you would uh, give clarity in our ears that our ears would begin to hear you more clearly father that lord that we would dream that you would begin to even come into our dream life and that we would begin to have lord a prophetic visions and dreams father that you god would cleanse us god lord that you would touch our eyes to begin to see what you have called us to see father father that even those god who are writers would begin to write down the word of the lord and they would begin to write down the things that you are saying unto us god Father, we thank you, God, that we are getting ready to walk into a move of your spirit, Father. Father, that there is a divine alignment, God, and Lord, a divine uh, a collision happening in the spirit, Father, and that something is happening in the heavens, Father. And as you, God, move by your spirit, God, Lord, as a divine alignment begins to happen, we will begin to see a shift in our life. And we 
declare in the name of Jesus, Father, as we end this month that we would divinely align ourselves with you, that we would divinely align our, our ways and our minds and our behaviors to what you're calling us to, Father. Father, that we would give a complete surrender and completely trust in you, God, that we completely trust in your word for our life and the things that you are calling us to in the name of Jesus. Father, we thank you, God. We thank you for divine alignment happening now in the name of Jesus. Father, we thank you, Father, that you're aligning everything for us. Father, that everything you've called us to, Lord, we would step into it effortlessly, God, because you have aligned everything for us. Father, we thank you, Father, that you are setting things up for us, Lord, that we would walk into open door after open door after open door. Father, we declare in the name of Jesus that the favor of God is getting ready to hit our life in a way that we've never experienced before. We declare the favor of God, the favor of God, the favor of God upon our life now in the name of Jesus. Divine favor, God. Father, we declare that you're getting ready to connect us with the people that you have called us to be connected to so we can fulfill the promise and the call of God on our life. And we declare in the name of Jesus uh, that we will not be afraid, that we will not be intimidated, that we will not shrink back in fear. But Father, we would be bold. You said the godly are as bold as lions. And we declare a divine boldness to come upon us now in the name of Jesus. A boldness, God, to accomplish the things that you have called us to accomplish. Lord, a boldness to speak the word of the Lord and not be ashamed or afraid. We declare in the name of Jesus that a divine boldness, a boldness from heaven is getting ready to come upon us. Father, we declare that we will speak the word of the Lord, that we will declare and decree things, that we will speak to those that, that you put in front of us, God. Father, and that we would open our mouth and we would not be afraid. For you have not given us a spirit of fear, but love, power, and a sound mind. So we declare in the name of Jesus that boldness is coming to us to speak the word of the Lord and to declare what you're saying we thank you that you will even put us in front of important people and influential people and we will not be intimidated by their credentials but father we would the the boldness of god and knowing that we are children of the most high god would rise inside of us and we would say what needs to be said god and we would speak what well, what needs to be spoken we declare that when you put us in front of those influential people that the wisdom of the holy ghost would come upon us uh, in the name of jesus and we declare now more lord we declare lord, lord that we would spend more time time in the spirit that we would spend more time praying in the Holy Ghost uh, and, and, and I'm saying even right now I believe the Lord is saying that we need to begin to spend more time in the spirit and praying in the Holy Ghost because God is about to bring us in front of people and, and, and you need the, the, the wisdom of heaven and you need the wisdom of heaven to begin to speak the words that the Lord will bring to you as you begin to walk in front of people you need the wisdom of heaven so I I encourage you begin to pray in the Holy Ghost begin to pray in your heavenly language more and more and allow the Lord to fill you with more of his spirit and more of his power because as you begin to pray in the Holy Ghost the river begins to flow and I'm telling you as you as you come into that overflow you won't just as the scripture says when we come in front of men you won't need words to say because the Spirit of God will speak through you so we declare in the name of Jesus that we are coming into divine alignment. And Father, that we will speak the word of the Lord. That we would pray in the Holy Ghost. 
and that we would see a, a thing shift and change in our life, that divine favor is coming into us, onto us in this next season, that the favor of God, that the favor of God, that the favor of God and the goodness of God is coming upon us in this next season. It's coming upon you in this next season, the divine favor of God. And you will open your mouth and you will testify of his goodness and of his favor. You will, you will be in a place where you feel like you didn't deserve to be there and you aren't qualified to be there but because of the favor of God because of the favor of God because of his goodness because of your faithfulness and because of the promises that he has promised you you will sit in places and spaces that you should have never been but because our father because God is our father he'll put you in those places in the name of Jesus so father we declare now in the name of jesus that we would father find ourselves lord surrounded by your love and grace and father we thank you today god for this prayer we declare lord that you would open heaven and heaven would pour upon us now that heaven would be open to us and that heaven would pour upon us in Jesus name we ask for a move of your spirit and we declare divine alignment we declare that you are situating things in the heavenlies for us father that we would step into open doors doors that you open that no man can close and father that even you would close doors that we should have never gone through God because of your plan and your purpose for our life so we say thank you Jesus thank you for what you're getting ready to do thank you for what's happening thank you for what you're get, getting ready to birth on the inside of us thank you for breakthroughs thank you for miracles thank you for healing thank you for signs and wonders thank you for breakthrough thank you for change thank you for deliverance thank you Jesus thank you God we declare that things are turning around for our good and we will testify of your goodness. Ooh. We thank you, Jesus. Ooh. And we give you praise. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen, amen, and amen. Amen. Thank you all once again so much for joining me this morning for our morning prayer. I do want to remind you once again, uh, we will not have prayer next week. Uh, that's the Thursday, July the 4th due to the holiday. But we'll be back uh, Thursday, July the 11th at 1030 a.m. Central Standard Time. And then mark your calendars for Thursday, July 18th for our live service at 7 o'clock p.m. I love you. God bless you. Be encouraged. And believe that, that that divine alignment is coming to your life and that God's about to perform a miracle and he's about to do something special in your life. Amen. God bless you. I love you all. And I will see you on Thursday, July the 11th. God bless you.